right, good morning. This is Sienna Diaz, and she's our next presenter today. Good morning, everyone. My name is Diana Diaz, and today I will be speaking about adoption. What's more beautiful than giving a child whom doesn't have a home or a family a beautiful life? Or is it thought of a long, exhausting, time-consuming process, not to mention the feeling of money leaving your pockets overwhelming? Adoption isn't for everyone. With this in mind, today I will be informing you of some facts about the process. But before we begin, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Have y'all ever thought about adopting later in the future? Yes. What have you thought of? Um, it is very, there's a lot of pros and cons because of the money, of the money, mm -hmm. and, but you get to have a family. Okay, so here are some facts for you or for everyone else who thought about adopting later in the future. Pro number one, helping a child. Many of the children waiting to be adopted have gone through traumatic experiences and can be emotionally scarred and feel in love. By taking he or she in, in, the goal is to help them overcome what they've faced. Nearly 10 million children in the United States has had a traumatic experience. It's either rape, it's either abandonment, um, it can be up to abuse. So domestic abuse is very popular out there. Um, or we can either give a child a better opportunity of life. Um, children from other countries that don't have the opportunity that we have here in the United States are up for adoption. So if you ever want to help a child by giving them a better home so they can be someone bigger, big in life, this is the way to go. Okay, pro number two, fulfilling your dreams of becoming a parent. Many of the women out there sadly don't have the ability or lost the ability to give birth to a child who wish to be a parent. Therefore, adoption is a key to their wish of loving and raising a kid of their own. Um, 10% of the United States cannot, 10% of the women in the United States cannot get pregnant or struggle to get pregnant. So their first option is obviously adoption. I got this from womenshealth.org. Okay. The LGBT community has many couples who only wish to have a child to love and cherish with their significant other. Today, that dream can become reality as for adoption became available to everyone in the United States. Um, more than 60,000 same-sex couples estimate an estimated amount of 22,000 kids have been adopted by a same-sex couple. I got this from all4kids.com and lifelong adoption. Um, from 2015 to 2017, um, they fought for all 50 states to allow same-sex same adoption. I got this from lifelong adoption. Okay, that's it for pros. For cons. The first con here is the process of adding another little person to your family can be extremely long. Not everyone is qualified to follow through with this process. There's a lot of paperwork involved as a variety of background checks on everyone in the household. The process can indeed take from six months to two years in some situations. So for those of y'all who are anxious and who don't like to wait, this might not be for y'all since it's up to a good six months to two years to follow through with the process and finally have your child at your house. Every document, okay. um, to support this, I went with momjunction.com. Every document in this process has a cost. For example, you can pay up to 20,000 on only qualified expenses. Your gross income has a great impact on whether your financial stability is able to handle this high expense as well. Um, hundreds to 30,000 are wasted or spent on adopting a child, and that's only if you're qualified. If you're not qualified, then that money just goes to waste and you do not get the child you wish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Although for special needs children, um, the cost isn't as expensive as they usually, I don't wanna say they cost um, a lower amount, but they do, sadly. So that's it. Okay. For my con number two is the oh, is the emotional stability. 
Throughout this crazy process, the feeling of regret can be overwhelming. The feeling is not wanting to go through it can overfill your mind. At any second, you can turn back the money you wasted and the money you wasted would be gone. So again, if any of y'all do not like to wait or is very anxious, then you can just turn around, but the money you already wasted is gone. So if you wasted $10,000, it's gone for good and you just don't get the child. Adapting for a child can be easy or hard. For the family adopting, if they have children already, some struggles may be commonly found. Okay, so you're adding a new person, a new family member to your family. You have kids that don't agree with the situation. You have kids that are usually always about, that it's usually always about them, and now it's not gonna be no longer about them. It's gonna be about her or he, and then you add someone else. So the struggle can be difficult for the children involved. The change, of, the change of environment can be difficult for the child being adopted. So they came from a children's home or a foster family and now they have a permanent home. So it can be difficult. Um, I got this from gracepointswellness.org. In conclusion, adoption is a great way to be able to start a family. If you cannot do yourself, if you cannot do so yourself, it also allows you to be able to give a child a forever home and they might that they might have never had. However, there may be some things you may want to consider before adopting a child. There are many reasons why you shouldn't or shouldn't adopt. I have talked to you about adopting and the pros and cons of adopting. So is adopting really for you? Thank you.